Hello. Oh, God, the chair. So, <laughs> so fuck up. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode. Oh, God, I just spat on you. 16. Let's redo that. I just spat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're not getting this intro out. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode 16 of the pre production meeting. Hey. I am your co host, Josh Urquhart. On the other one. Austin Scott. The other one, Austin <laughs> Scott. And welcome back to another week of the filmmaking process and everything to do with film. This podcast follows us on, on our journeys. On our journeys <laughs> to making our next two films, followed by your daily, weekly, monthly film news throughout yes. the week. Um, Austin, we have a special one today. We're actually filming this after the big meat section of our podcast. Definitely. Um, but- as What's you notice, in the camera angle is different. The camera angle is different. What's in store for them today without giving a little, uh, giving it away? Um, again, we had a bit of a international tease not too long mm. ago with some concept art and stuff like that. So yeah, things were yeah, happening yeah, internationally, yeah. but yeah. today marks our first international guest. What? Which is so they're not here in this room. They're not here in this room. Right. Okay. They're currently wide awake. Wide awake. Now they shouldn't be. <laughs> Um, but he's a nocturnal animal. He is. He, he, is. he holds it very high that he's a nocturnal exactly. animal. Exactly. And he's one of the best best people I've ever met. Yeah. Um, so nice, so caring. Amazing. Very talented v- man. So talented, so um, creative. Why don't you tell him a bit about it? Well, him? I mean, you, you've given him a good rap. So I think how this is going to structure to the other podcast is going to be completely different. We're not doing the wrap up this week. We're leaving the progress till next week and we're leaving um, the dependent variable till next week again, because we just did basically an hour long interview yes. and we're going to play that um, right after this. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know that. And uh, thank you as always for listening, subscribing, liking everything you do. Thank you for all the support you've been giving us. Um, and we still have the crowdfunding live for Austin's yes. film, Stain. Just under two weeks to go. Just under two weeks to go. Where can they find it? So they can find it on our social media, on the mm. link tree, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Um, please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend yes. to share the link around. To tell that friend as Who well. will tell their cousin. Their dog's neighbor's sister. Goldfish. Just to donate. Some spare change. Or fish flakes. Any. Yes. So anything goes. Anything goes. Monopoly money included. Exactly. Um, there you go. Every bit of donation is appreciated. So <laughs> please spread the word. Spread, spread the word. We're almost there, guys. Filming dates in November. Um, but without further ado, we hope you enjoy this podcast. So here Peace. you go. This man truly needs no introduction. He is an award-winning film composer, the most talented creative I have ever worked with, communicating visions all the way from Rome, Italy. He has over 15,000 dedicated followers on his Instagram. He streams, he mixes, he leaves you wanting more, conveying the emotion of narrative through every film score. He is the gifted, marvelous and spectacular, composing music for every vernacular. It's Federico Ricci, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. What an introduction. (laughs) Oh my God, what a presentation, Josh. I got emotional. Okay. Oh, Federico. I'm not it's... John Williams, okay? <laughs> it is absolutely incredible to have you on today. Um, like when we were talking yesterday, testing to see how this all went. It's been crazy because this is the first time that me and you have properly talked yeah. over Zoom in two years. How yeah. has that been for you? It was incredible. It's incredible. It's insane. It, mm. it, it's amazing for me. And I'm very happy to be here with you guys. I have the possibility to watch the uh, most of your episodes. And I really appreciate it because there is no similar content on YouTube. So mm. it's very... It's very interesting for me. I very appreciate that. So now I'm very excited to be here. Can't wait to start. Honestly, it's it's incredible. And um, this is what we wanted to achieve with this podcast is to not only help the people that we know through this process, but also connect with people like yourself overseas. And I would say that we've done a pretty good job creating some uh, unique content, don't you reckon, Austin? I'd, I'd say so, definitely. Yeah. So Granted the uh, animation we give. Yes. We're animated characters. Amazing. Um, you know, the emotions that... 
Josh goes on with some of his rants as well. It's a bit <laughs> how you go, but you know. It's it's all good fun here. It's all it's, good fun. It's all good fun. And Federico, it's it, it, you are truly, and I don't say this lightly, mm. the most creative person I've worked with. And the way that we've connected over these two years is, you know, unlike any other connection that I've had in this industry, because we can communicate not only in words but in music. Yeah, because that is yeah. what you do for a Hun- living. Hundred percent agree. As always, yeah. I, I, I often say that um, it's very important to connect with the people because this is a work of connecting with people. So it, it's yes. very important. Very, 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 important. very important. And, you know, it's crazy how I've never met you in person. I uh, discovered you through Instagram and now yes. we've built this professional yeah. relationship. And this look is, at us. This is incredible. This is incredible. This is very incredible also for me because, you know, I'm, um, yes, I started three or I don't remember four years uh, years uh, ago on Instagram. But it's very yep. important for me for just to, to work around the world, you know, so very important. Thanks to technology, I'm, I'm not here without Instagram. <laughs> so exactly. I couldn't have worked with you without Instagram. Exactly. So that's incredible. And and you also wouldn't have that amazing poster on your wall right there. Yeah, up, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. Amazing. Well, Federico, let's get into this. Um, I Ever since I have met you, it has truly made it more clear in my head that film and music go side by side. And for me, music is the most important part of a film. Um exactly how important is it though how important is music as a part of a film and how important is it to you okay very good and interesting question because you know music of course is very important for a movie okay uh, a lot of people said uh, that it's mm, probably 70 100 percent of success of successful okay mm-hmm. mm, doing a good soundtrack um, so, yes, for me, it's very important. Probably not the most important thing, okay? Not the most okay. important thing. Uh, perhaps in the past it was, I'm thinking, for example, for the silent movie, okay, mm-hmm. when there we didn't have the dialogues, okay? Uh, so in that Correct. case, you know, Charlie Chaplin, okay? So in that case, yes. probably yep. music was the most important thing, was fundamental, okay? Um, but now, you know, um, with the evolution of cinema, we have a lot of complex and different uh, professions inside inside the movie. Uh, Correct. I'm thinking about costumes, uh, screenplay, music, of course. Um, so mm-hmm. for me, it's difficult to understand what's the best, uh, the most important profession inside the job. But mm. I'm sure that uh, all these professions do not have the same appeal, the same attraction for the audience. And that's the point. Mm. Um, for example, the screenplay, the script, okay? Yeah. Uh, it's very underrated by the people, okay? Mm-hmm. I often watch the movies that has a great, uh, a great story, but it's not the same for, um, for the screenplay. And that's a problem. But the, the reason is, is that there is no so... Um, the, the screenplay, the script, the, the importance of uh, the script is not so visible. Um, mm. For the music, it's completely different. Just because yeah. people love music, and um, music, uh, okay, yeah, music has a great uh, potential, mm-hmm. has a great um, emotional energy. Yeah. Um, just because it speaks with the most emotional chords. That's that, yeah, that, and that's what I was gonna say. Music, I think, compared to all the other aspects of a film, can yeah. communicate what words can't. Yeah. So when you're talking about screenplays and stuff like that, music and what I've you know picked up over the film that I've recently done and coming up is music to me is the most important part because it can communicate what words can't. Definitely. Yes. Yes, yes, that's a very important point. Um, 
Um, I can explain better with a wonderful phrase from Steven Spielberg. Okay. Yes. Uh, in an old interview, I don't remember, but uh, Spielberg <laughs> said, uh, uh, "Without John Williams, bikes yep. don't really fly, nor do Ooh. brooms in Quidditch matches." In a reporter, there is no force. Dinosaurs do not walk the earth. We do not wonder. We do not weep. We do not believe. I literally love this phrase from I got Steven chills. Spielberg. Yeah, that, oh, I wow. just got goosebumps yeah. right there. That, to put it in that perspective as well is amazing. Yeah. Like you said, like people wouldn't look at it that way. So uh, it's yeah. It's incredible because it explains perfectly the potential of music. Okay. Yeah, yes, and 100%. and I think when you talk about, you know, the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park, you know, oh God, you yes. when 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 you speak those words and someone says Jurassic Park, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? It's that tune. Yeah, exactly. The dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Like it's I think yeah. that's that it just in itself explains how important exactly right. um it is as part of the film. Well, yeah, cuz when you when you hear that, like you wouldn't even be like just say you're going about your day and then you hear that Jurassic Park. Exactly. It's like they're the connections you make and that's what music provides. Yes, people. exactly. Um, yeah, <coughs> that's the important part. Yeah. Right, um, so, well, probably um, um, what Spielberg said, it's very important just to understand the emotional energy, okay, for the for the music. Um, um, mm -hmm. We 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 speaking about, uh, we're talking about uh, one of the most important composer, John Williams, okay, the best. It's amazing, okay. Um, yes, but so for me, it's not the most important thing because I, I think that there is, for example, uh, the, the, the screenplay is the basic for, for good, uh, a, a good job, but probably with a good soundtrack, you can save a film just because oh, there is because, this yeah. uh, uh, energy, this potential, okay? So... Yes, as a composer, I have a lot of responsibility for this, okay? Because I know that it's very important. Absolutely. Have you always wanted to be a film composer? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. How, how did you, when you were younger, did you always want to grow up to be a film composer? Like, how did you get into the industry as a composer? Was oh. that a dream of yours as a young yeah, kid? Yeah. Or? Uh, that's very interesting because I, I, before loving music, I loved cinema. Yes. yes, that's my story. Okay, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, so when I was very young, I watched the two or three films per day. Okay, I was completely crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I still do that on on my days off. I try to go to the cinemas, and sometimes I watch two or three in one day. Guilty as well. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and so that's the story. Uh, that's my story. I, I discover music after that. Okay. Uh, at, the, at, the, at the age of 12 years old, you know, playing in drum. I'm, mm. a, I'm a drummer. Uh, yes. <laughs> really? My, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. My first instrument was drumming. Okay. Wow. Was wow. The drum, Incredible. playing in drum. Uh, yes. Um, it's very funny to remember now. Um, and yes, I, I've, been, I've been playing it for several years. years. Um, it was amazing, you know. Um, but then I discover uh, what's probably is my first instrument that is the piano, pianoforte. Oh. Okay, um, and I started studying classical music at the Conservatory of Music in Italy. And um, wow. you know, it's very difficult path because the duration of studies is ten years, so it's very difficult. You know. Um, so you studied for 10 years? Yes, the duration of studies oh, wow. is 10 years. It's very long journey. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, yes, especially in, in Italy, only in Italy, okay. Only in Italy, yeah. 10 yeah. years, uh, it's incredible. And <laughs> as, of, um, as often happens um, along the way, I realized that I didn't want to become uh, a pianist, especially yeah. a classic pianist, but I want to merge and combine this is my two passions, okay, music and cinema, becoming a film composer. And so at the same time of uh, the Conservatory of Music, I started um, a film score, a, a professional, a professional uh, film scoring course, okay. That's 
was very well done. Um, I had the possibility to study uh, music, technology, orchestration, a lot of interesting things. But the the, the, the very important thing is that uh, uh, it was very well connected with the with the network with the mm. uh, world of work. And so, uh, yes. so once I finished, I had the possibility to make practice. You know when you study is very different okay so it's very important to to make practice and so i have i had the possibility to to make my first film was an italian thriller um, yep. as an assistant but right. yes but luckily i had the possibility to write um a lot of music in in the final part mm -hmm. uh, so i make the additional music for that film and for me it was That's, very yes. very important and you know of course. That from that moment i started to to, to work uh, in italy both in italy and both around the world wow that's okay. that's that's insane and you know practice makes perfect as they say and um i think you know the more music you do um the better you will get with the film scores and film scores in general f in your opinion to make a film score great what are the key aspects that they need oh this is a difficult question, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> but very interesting. <laughs> but is. very interesting because, first of all, you have to remind that you are not a composer, but a film composer. That sounds mm. similar, but it's very right. different. Okay, it's very different because you have to write ha a, yeah. a music, because you have to make a music that fix the picture, but never get over it never right. over so, yeah okay okay yeah that's so that it um, create music that works side by side and yeah. doesn't yeah. just like you're taken out of it because of the music yes I get what because you, you are not a composer you're a film composer so Correct. the most important thing is the picture and you probably could have two or three notes that works perfectly and better than a symphony okay yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> insane For example, okay fair enough um, there you go yeah and yes we have um if i have to choose two fundamental aspects to make a, a very good soundtrack is mm -hmm. to fix two aspects the timing okay mm -hmm. the rhythm of the yep. picture yeah um, if you think for if you if you I don't know if you can imagine uh, for example uh, a trailer okay for example the trailer has a particular uh, rhythm a particular timing okay especially Correct. in the final yeah. part there is a, an accelerando this is Italian term okay I like it accelerando a constantly crescendo especially in the final part and so the the music has to fix it with the particular um in, in particular with the timing with the rhythm yeah um so each picture each scene has its own timing and that's mm. that sounds okay it's easy no it's not so easy because for mm -hmm. example you could have a dialogue um make the music for a dialogue it's not so easy because you yeah. have to to understand the timing of the dialogues that's for me, it's amazing. I, I really love to do that, but it's not so easy. Um, and then the other important aspect is the mood. Mm, of course. Absolutely. Because you have to understand the right mood. So, for example, you could have, uh, I don't know, um, a sad scene. Okay. Mm. Um, and probably you you have to, to make a, a melancholic main theme. I don't know. Or... Mm -hmm you could make a contrast yes okay so for example you create a contrast you you have a sad scene you can create a, a funny a funny music just to create mm -hmm. a contrast okay i'm thinking full metal jacket okay for example surfing bird in in that <laughs> in that terrible scene okay um so uh, for me the main goal for a composer is to <clears throat> respect uh, Okay, is to respect these two fundamental aspects. So 
in overall, the two key aspects are timing and rhythm and then mood for you. And you did mention something about trailers. I actually have a question for you because you're a big trailer man. Yeah. How important oh. is music in a trailer for you, Austin, to get you to watch the actual film? Massively important. And, um, and I'm sure all the points that Federico's made, it's like the trailer is obviously what gets you hyped yeah. for the film and stuff like that. And to me, when like like when Federico said, builds up a big crescendo and then a big payoff at the end of the trailer gets you like, oh my God, I want to get to the cinema and watch this film. Yep. For me, it's like hitting all those right moments of the trailer because if yep. it was just dialogue the whole way through, the trailer's going to be boring. Yeah. Well. It's like the, you know, your do 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 kind of music, all that kind of stuff that gets you like, all right, this is hectic. Like exactly. I want to get to the cinema and watch it. So it's massively important. Massively important. Awesome. So if we were to listen... To all the film scores that you have created in your time of being a film composer, what consistent aspects will be seen throughout? Like, what does a Federico Ricci film score look like overall? Oh, yes. It's very interesting. It's difficult for me to understand my own style, okay? Probably mm -hmm. uh, also because my style is constantly in evolution, I think, I hope. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope. And probably an older composer uh, could be more recognizable. Okay, it's normal. Um, yeah. But about me, I'm versatile a lot, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And that's very important for the industry, especially in cinema. Okay, you have to be versatile. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you listen, if you focus on my score, you probably... Um, yes, uh, can notice a particular transition harmony or particular way in which I structure the melody, um, but I'm not so conscious of, uh, conscious of this because it's very a particular. You just do it. Yeah, uh, you yes. don't really think. You just yeah. do it. Yeah, it's a creativity process that is very instinctive part. Okay, um, mm -hmm. some people said to me, "Oh, you have very melancholic uh, style." Other, oh, you have an ironic style. Yeah, because right. Because I love dramedy, for example. I literally yep. love dramedy. I love the style of Danny Elfman, for example. So I'm very versatile. Um, but yes, um, on the other side, I think that I I have a common way about the my use of melody. Okay. Um, so, for example, I usually... Uh, write a small melodic cells, so two or three notes, okay? Okay. Yep. And I love to repeat them, but mm -hmm. changing something. Okay, understandable. A little. Yep. So, just in order to make the sound familiar with the audience, mm -hmm. um, something they recognize, okay? And um, as I could make a small example because I have the piano now. <laughs> Show us. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah, just, just Go just for a quick it. A sample. Okay. This is exciting. Oh, We're better. getting a live, live composition yeah. run on air. <laughs> no, no. It's just a, a very small example, just in order to understand better what I'm saying. Okay. Because it's 100%. practice. Okay. So let's you know, go. Just a moment. See what I mean? You can communicate more with music than you can Absolutely. with words. In fact, Josh, we have communicated in this way with the music. We have. Correct. And, you I know, you were touching on... your messages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I like to be very thorough and very detailed with my words to try and get what I want out. But there's a thing that what I would say, what kind of drew me into your music is your... You're very, I would say your music is very cinematic and you don't get yeah. that a lot, yeah. especially if you're just starting out and your sound is just, it blew me away and the cinematic aspect of it is what drew me in um, to your music. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that because uh, for me, the most important thing, the, the, the most important aspect is not only the music, it's the cinema because I'm focused on it. Okay, for sure. I continue to watch two or three films today when I have time. Okay, so uh, just just to make an example. Okay. Okay. Whoa! I see I the light. I, 
but I have a cable with the with the uh, my camera. So if I turn off all. Uh, <laughs> That's all Take right. Your time, man. Can you hear the piano sound? Okay. Yes. Oh, loud and clear. Okay. Perfect. It's from my phone, uh, from a, from my microphone, so it's not so good. But yeah, just to make an example. Okay. For example, uh, this is a very short melody. Okay. Okay. Recognize it. Okay. Very. Wow. I use two or three notes. Yeah. Then I repeat now, the same. Yeah. Changing Perfect. one note. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's just to to create um, a familiar sound. Yeah. Definitely. And repeating it, and um, it's very interesting because you know. It's very similar, but it's not the same, okay? It's not and the same, of course, yeah, you're I'm right. changing something in the harmony, okay? Yeah. Okay, of course. Um, then uh, another aspect that I usually love to do is to repeat all these uh, small melodic cells around mm -hmm. the soundtrack. For example, in the lesson, there is this... Transition. I was gonna say I've 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 heard that music before. <laughs> I've heard that music. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is this uh, um <laughs> yes, there is this uh, transition, okay, these small melodic cells. Yep. I don't know if you remember this passage. Of okay. course I remember, of course I remember. And I love to repeat it a lot of times and yeah for example it's just something that is suspending okay of course yeah. it, it's just a question okay and then I for example in other part of the film I repeat the same melody but with different harmony mm. That's and, yeah, more you're right. Okay, Definitely. of course. Yeah. And I think you're right. It creates a familiar sound that you can, you know, get used to throughout the film, and you can remember at certain points of the film you hearing that specific sound, and you know, you can hear that and visualize it at the same time. And I think that's yes. perfect. Absolutely. I love. I really love to do that, especially in the lesson. I focus on it to create a lot of small main theme and that all these main themes are very good connected with each other, okay? 100%, 100%. yeah. Couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Um, to sort of, you sort of touched on it a little bit with that question, but what does the process look like when you, you sit down, you've been given a brief on how to go about, let's use two as a lesson as an example. Okay. Um, what, does, what does your process look like when coming up with... Okay, at school? first I... I like to watch a lot of times uh, the whole film, the whole video, okay? Just in order to immerse myself. Um, mm. Then, you know, we have a lot of different steps, okay? The first one is the spotting session, you know, yep. in which I have to decide when and where there is the music and the silence. I love to do that with the director. I, I think that it's very important because the director is the only person that um, know so knows so well the project. Okay, mm -hmm, um, so I love to do that, and it's very important. I I said to Josh a lot of times, the silence in a film. So it's very very important, and so mm -hmm. you have to to decide a very um, yes to, to decide uh, both the music but also the silence, and so. The reason yeah. you you, ha you have to sh choose uh, a very great balance, okay? Yeah, and I can I can say that it is it was that's probably the hardest part of yeah. you know where when it comes to that post production stage with the music, trying to figure out 
where the silence goes and where the music goes. And there were times, even when you were composing, you're like, Josh, I think this would actually be more impactful with silence than it would be with music. Yeah. So yeah. I, get you, I get you with that. Yeah, because if you watch only this scene, for example, you could, you could say, okay, in this part I want the music. Mm. But if you, in the global vision, it could be different, okay? And so it's very, very important. And um, then, of course, we have a lot of different aspects, Im important aspects, okay? Um, my approach is directly in the sequencer, so in Cubase. So I start to write immediately, just because often I have to rush. <laughs> I have to run a <laughs> lot. Okay. Uh, run is the opposite of quality, but of course, you know, in the cinema, we, we we have to of course to of course very um, very yes smart deadline okay so it's very yes, important yes definitely lots of um, deadlines other composer love to score with the pen but for me it's yeah. impossible because really i do not have the time and lot yeah. most <laughs> of yes and um, most of the young composer actually working in this way directly on the sequencer on Cubase. Yeah. Perhaps for the old composer, it's better to write the music on the pen. Um, yeah. I, write, I write to, I usually write the music on the pen after, when I finish the okay. work, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And in the process, in the, creative, in the creativity process, I have two fundamental aspects. So when I, when I did the, the, um, the spotting session, you know, uh, when I finish it, uh, I focus on the scene, the first yep. one, for example, and I start to to put something to f trying to um, to fix the general idea. So, mm. so Absolutely. trying to fix the the um, the picture, the the the, the, the timing, and mm -hmm. other important aspect, the rhythm uh, yep. and the mood. Um, of course, this is very instinctive part. Okay. And then I have to organize the this general idea, and that's very mm -hmm. absolutely problematic and important aspect because I have to to choose what's the arrangement, okay? For mm. example, right. what's the best orchestration? And it's very rationality part. It's the opposite yep. of the first part, okay? Um, then I I have to um, to make it sounds good with virtual instrument you know yep yep and um, that's very interesting aspect you know because now virtual instrument sounds very very good very mm. very good uh, it's very similar to the real orchestra and uh, for me yep. it's fantastic because i could have an, an a large orchestra in my it studio literally, you know when listening to the music it sounds like you've just composed a band there's a huge <laughs> orchestra that you're playing with it is so realistic yeah uh, yes just because the, um, uh, the the sounds is very good and yep. has been improving a lot lately so yeah and that could be a problem i think in the future because yeah. a lot of productions yeah pr really prefer virtual instrument just yeah, for, and I, yeah. just for the the saving money yeah 100%. that's normal okay so i yep. literally love virtual instrument i love my space i love yeah but it's a problem because uh, i i i i'm sure that virtual instruments never re never can replace the real orchestra of course Definitely. of course of course, and um, yeah, no, I, I, I want to ask you really quickly, and maybe you can give me a quick answer. Okay. When you're watching a scene for the first time, do you hear the music straight away in your head? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Immediately. For example, yesterday when you show me something of your future project, okay? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just have it. the music. For example, Already. it could be. A, a character okay yeah only a character yeah. i just have the music yeah it's incredible yeah yeah i'm so excited <laughs> for the yeah. next year to see what you do uh, you yes. know what i noticed that you've had like a massive growth in instagram in just the yeah. past year is that right um last year last yeah. year yes yeah and i do not spend one money nothing 
No, that because is crazy. it doesn't work all this trick. Um, it, it's just to um, constantly work. I spent yes. one hour for day to uh, to make post. Okay, um, so it's three years. Okay, it's not so. It's a very long That's process crazy. and difficult. Yes, but for me, it's very important just because I have the possibility to share my music when I want. Yeah. For example, I 100%. did three films last year. But I can't yeah. share the music because I'm not the only composer. There is a big production, ah, uh, right, a lot of boring right. and problematic things. <laughs> okay, for me it's a problem, really, because I want to share my music. Okay, but of course, hundred yeah, percent. It's very. I, uh, this is the reason because because I I really love to work in two different way. Okay, both in Italy. You know, as a system composer, what composer, etc. But also, and especially with young and talented di director, because mm. for me it's very important. I have the possibility to 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 make more to to um, to fill in my project. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I yeah, of course you can understand. No, no, no. I understand. And you you know what's a really interesting question? I reckon. Whilst working with all these directors, have you ever thought about directing yourself? Like, have you ever thought about actually directing a film? Um, no. No. Would you ever direct a film? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Straight, straight answer. All right, back to the film component. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, so we sort of touched on it a little before, but with your process and any sort of process you've um, gone through in the past what's the most difficult part or like what have you found is the most difficult part while coming up with the um, film score oh mm, it depends because every project is different okay you know so sometimes it's to find the right key for the scene mm. um, sometimes not so in, in that case when it's to find the right key the most mm, problematic aspect um it's not the composing part but that's one before okay because you just have to to, to find the right key so oh i know i, I don't know how can i i, I can i do uh, that's a problem but sometimes it could be the harder part okay um the rationality part in which you have to um you know to um, I don't know, I can say to, mm -hmm, to organize well an idea. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. And that's yep. very frustrating because you can have just the idea, but you don't know how can you um, organize well. So that's mm. problematic. But perhaps the most difficult thing for me is the rush, the pressure. Yeah. Like yes. the deadlines and stuff. You write a lot of things mm. with the rush, with the pressure. And um, so... It's not so so easy. Do you yeah. uh, do you ever get writer's block? Like, do you ever just reach mm. a point where you just don't know what to do? Yes. And how, how do you like and get out of that? That's very curious, an uh, interesting question because uh, it's when I have a lot of time. Okay, Often, right. When I have a lot of time, um, I could make some difficult, just because mm. probably. It's okay. I, I don't like the pressure, but when you have to pr the pressure, it's very stimulating. You do not. What have do they the say? What What do they say? Uh, pr pressure makes diamonds, or pressure something like that. Diamonds, that yeah. That's that's exactly how you're saying. So you work. So you might not like the pressure, but are you saying you work better under pressure? Yeah, probably yeah, yes. I l okay. I love to feel. Uh, the sensation, <laughs> the the adrenaline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, no, that's 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 fair enough. Um, any any more difficulties, or is it just the ones that you've mentioned? Was that the most difficult part of composing? The the part that you just mentioned? Yes, yes, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, then, <laughs> then I guess we can say right. Let's talk about the positive side then, not the pressure, but the positive side of uh, film composing. What is a film score? that has impacted you. So maybe your favorite of all time. You've mentioned names such as John Williams and um, stuff like that. What one sticks out to you as the the one film score that has impacted you the most? 
Oh, probably the most difficult question, Josh, because yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so at first I have one music score that shocked me when I was young and okay. it's Jaws. Jaws, oh. Yeah, immediately that sound just came to my head as well. Yeah. Guys, I have I have a question for you. It's it's for real that we had that you have a lot of sharks in Australia. Yes, yes, yes. We have uh, quite a bit of sharks in Australia, although oh. we th they don't attack people as people oh. think overseas and huh. stuff like that. We we you know they're as scared of us as we are scared of them. Oh, okay, it well. okay. I, it's good. I, okay, I try to I try to surf when I can, um, and oh I God. haven't seen a shark. So <laughs> okay, that's not very as, not good as reason as to it. come to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> there are much more scary things in Australia uh, other I, I, than the sharks. I'm sure, yes. I can I tell know you that, that people, all animals the, that are he, um, that are in Australia are mm. bigger than in the other country. <laughs> I, <know it's laughs> I can tell you, Federico, the people here are more scary than the animals. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, guys. I, I'm focused on the question. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's this podcast. Okay. Um, I have a, a, a little problem to come to Australia because I'm not so comfortable with the airplane. Oh, right. Back, brother. Yes. You have, you, have you been overseas before? Yeah, but I yeah. really hate the airplane. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair. Maybe you can swim over. <laughs> no, it's Maybe you can swim. George. <laughs> it's, like Titanic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it's impossible. Oh, okay, okay. man. Yeah, well, there you go. I've I've only recently gotten good with airplanes because growing up, my ears used to be really sore, like on the on the descent. Um, and only recently, now that I've gotten older, I've figured out how to equalize the air pressure by blowing like the the pressure oh. out of your oh, ear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just it yeah it hurts, uh, but yeah, I've got them good with airplanes, and you know what? I'm eventually going to come and visit you when I go to Italy eventually. Oh my god, yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> have you Cru ever? You can show guys, me around. Have you, have you ever been in Italy? Never. Never. Oh, it is on the bucket list, one hundred percent though. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's very, um, it's very wonderful country. Beautiful. Not for the work. But for yes. a journey, yes, <laughs> it's very okay. good. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Tracking back onto yeah, the question. Sorry, sorry, okay. <laughs> How okay. has the Jaws uh, so score as affected a, as you? As I'm, I'm saying, uh, Jaws, it's incredible because it's very simple. The basic idea, okay, it's very simple. Two notes. Sodom, sodom. Yeah. Okay, and then there is the timing part, the timing aspect, mm. the rhythm. Sun, 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 that I yeah. mentioned before. Um, so I literally love when I when I was child, um, but I I actually love a lot. I think that it's the probably one of the best score of John Williams. You know, John Williams for me it's very important just because whole uh, day score um, have a, a great um, common way. That's uh, the the main theme always suggests something. If you mm, yep. heard to the main theme of John Williams, you just can imagine something. Okay, for example, if I if I can listen Joe's, I just imagine a, a shark. Okay, and yes. you, you you know what? I was before coming here today. Um, I was one of my favorite scores and pieces of music of all time is the Superman theme, oh. and that's also by John Williams and. It, it gets me and I know like this is going to sound funny but this morning I was just watching um, because that's an old score for a Christopher when Christopher Re uh, Christopher Reeves was that his name I think it was Christopher Reeves was Superman um, but they haven't used it in the new Superman movies with Henry Cavill as Superman. And this morning I was watching people were using that theme song for the Henry Cavill uh, movie and they re-scored re -scored certain scenes with that original oh. theme. Oh, and it, it brought tears to my eyes <laughs> because I love that theme and 
listening to it brings me back to my childhood. And like you said, when you listen to these things, you think of things. And when I listen to the Superman John Williams theme, I remember it brings me back to when I was a kid dressing up in the Superman outfit, flying around my lounge room. And it brings that nostalgia back. And that's what I absolutely adore, not only about that theme, but about film composition in general. 100% agree, yes. Yeah. It's so with... Um, with the jaws so thing. for me john williams it's very important okay um but of course i have other important composer for me danny Helfman, this play yeah yep. um yep. hans zimmer hans zimmer oh. is very uh hans zimmer is very different from he john is. Williams. is another generation okay yeah a lot of composer said that hans zimmer is not so good in orchestration and I hate this thing because it's not the true. Hans Zimmer uh, is different. It's a totally different composer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, he can open the picture in, in a can, way yeah. that uh, it's incredible. And by the way, the score of Lion King, it's wonderful. It's yeah. wonderful. And there is a lot of orchestration. So um, Hans Zimmer... Um, it's very important for the sound. Mm. Dune, the last soundtrack, Dune. Okay, oh, I watched the this one of my favorites, and it's incredible because uh, it has a great sound. Uh, there is a sound, a general sound. Okay, there is no main theme. Okay, it's it's, a, it's yeah. a something different, but it's very well done. Okay, mm. um, but if I have to choose. Uh, the best composer for me that has impacted for me is James Newton Howard. Okay, right. That's okay. the first uh, composer of M. Ni- M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> oh, I was gonna right, say. Okay. okay, so what he did? What what movies has he uh, composed? The Sixth Sense, for example. Okay, yes, the yep, Sixth of course, Sense, classic. Yes. Yep. And I literally love and other important, uh, for example, Hunger Games. Uh, Yes. A lot of um, um, all the the first uh, films by M. N- M. Night Shyamalan, M. Night. but Shaman, also yeah. um, Fantastic Animal, um, a lot of important film. But I really love this composer because it's very refined in the style, okay, in the mm. writing music, a good music quality, but at the same time it's very emotional. I got emotional when I listened to James Newton Howard. I, I really suggest you to to hear he um, because it's not so famous. James Newton Howard, okay, okay, it's it's obviously famous, but it's not so famous as other composer. Of I course, really yeah. suggest to to listen well their soundtrack because it that they, they are very emotional. Of course, incredible. And I, I, as soon as this podcast finishes, I'm going to listen to some of his music. Yeah. For you. But yeah. I just want to mention real quick, when you mentioned Hans Zimmer and Josh went, oh, like that, <laughs> I straight away thought of Inception and the massive thing in the trailer where it's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, that sounds brum. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's from Hans Zimmer. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes. Before there is before Hans Zimmer, there is no some. Yeah, okay. he cre- he created that. He made it. Yeah, famous exactly. Well, I think Josh will give him a run for his money with his mouth now. That <laughs> Do you want some Brahms in your future project, Josh? <laughs> I guess yes. Okay, oh, I have a lot of sound of of a virtual instrument. The, yeah. the libraries. Name is Bram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. That's amazing. Just incredible. <laughs> of course, of course. All right. Um, also, Federico, I think you mentioned it before, but, um, you know, what's your favorite genre to work with when it comes to composing? Hmm. Oh, um, I could answer you differently if I'm speaking as a spectator or as a composer. Uh, you know, please, okay. please. Do it, yeah. Because... For example, as a spectator, I really don't like, you know, um, fantasy film. I don't like so much, okay? okay. Fantasy. No fantasy. Mm, yes, fantasy. Um, a particular kind of fantasy film. Like Lord of the Rings? Yes, I totally love. 
Yes, yes, Amazing. totally love. No, it's okay, not, so you love that kind of fantasy. Not fan, uh, fantasy, the, the right term, but. Um, How about a film? Um, a film uh, instead of maybe fantasy. Give an example of a film you don't like um, listening to. Uh, for example, genre wise, I, I, um, you know, um, uh, it's all good if you can't it's think of from, it. It's from, for example, King Kong. Okay. King Kong. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's not yep, my yep. favorite genre. Okay. Okay. King yep. Kong. Makes so sense. Makes if sense. I have to to go to the cinema, probably I not choose to 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 see King Kong. <laughs> catastrophic, <laughs> ta- catastrophic film. Okay. But okay. If I had yep, to yep. do that as a composer, I was completely happy because okay. for me yep. it's different. Because you know, as a spectator, it's different. But yeah. if I had to choose. Uh, a, a favorite genre uh, as a composer it's horror film okay, it's horror right, right, or right. thriller yes thriller Ooh, yes. okay I like In that fact, I like that a lot just Josh I'm waiting for you for your next horror film <laughs> 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 next horror <laughs> or film thriller thriller <laughs> no but oh, uh, really, one day one the, day the, 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 the real uh, the reality is that I do not have a, a favorite genre I love all Genres and I love good cinema. That's yes, absolutely. Because I, um, that's the reason. Because um, before I have a problem because I I I don't know. Okay, it's not the fantasy problem. Lord of, of the Ring, I love. Okay, I, I love the Lord, Lord of the Ring. So it depends by the film. But yes, if right. I have to choose one, yes, it's the horror. I totally okay. love horror and but horror. the well done horror film. Okay, of course. Okay. Makes sense. Definitely. Totally. hundred percent. There is some garbage horror films out there, but yeah. when horror films done right, it is truly phenomenal. So I, I, I agree with you on that statement. Oh, I yeah. love, yeah, I love that. And you know, we've, we actually talked about a garbage horror film last week on the podcast. Oh, don't even make <laughs> He oh. recently watched the reboot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and he hated it. He hated it. Yeah. But then I'm, and then I'm seeing a horror movie tonight. Have you heard of Smile? No, no. Well, it's this new horror movie and I'm going to see that tonight and apparently it's really good so there are some good horror films and there are some bad horror films but taking it back to the conversation about film composing you know what has throughout your journey what has film composing taught you about yourself oh uh, it taught me a a lot of important aspects about myself Um, at first to be resilient to have a positive attitude it's easy, you know, when everything goes well, you know. Mm. But in this job, there are so many unexpected events. This is not mm. a normal yeah. job, okay? This is not a normal job. And so probably you could have some dupes for the future. It's normal, okay? Um, so if you do not have a positive attitude, you will hardly get results. And yeah. it seems obvious, but it's not for me. Um this is a thing that you can learn on the academies, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Mm, all these aspects you have to improve every day. Yeah. Working with yourself. Um, it's teaching me to be patient a lot mm. yeah. because it's a very long way if you want long process fast yeah. results it's not your work okay it's exactly. not your because it's very difficult okay um also is teaching me discipline because i have to organize very well um and it is also teaching me to accept failure that's yeah. a very important point nobody likes to fail it's obvious okay but if you really want to improve you have to go through failure and you can learn a lot from your failure so mm. but it is very difficult if you if you say to me uh, Federico, tomorrow you will fail. I'm not so, I don't feel so good. It's normal. Mm. Yes. You it's only not, have yeah. to yeah. accept that and remind that it's a very difficult job. And if you want to improve yourself, you have to, to go through these difficulties. Oh, it's normal. That is, that is very well put. And you know what? You were talking about um, 
the first thing that you mentioned about resilience and, you know, things happen every day. We we got news yesterday for Austin's film, which is filming next month, oh, yeah. that our, our sound recorders dropped out and you have to be resilient and have a positive attitude because that, that can get you down and that can, like, lessen your confidence. And we just had to be like, look, okay, this has happened. Be resilient and yes. move forward to we, trying to find the solution. Yes, Definitely. yes. By the way, I opened my Instagram channel in a very bad moment for me, okay? Right, okay. Yes, uh, so it's incredible because from that moment, I start step by step to restarting, okay? So of course. It's yeah, very important, totally. okay? It is. Of course, it's not so obvious, it's not so easy because no. probably with the pressure, with a lot of aspects that combine in this in this situation it's not so it's not so easy but you have to easy, be very strong very resilient yeah yes absolutely that's very important especially in this work in in the life in general but especially guys in this work 100 yeah, 100 percent. and this question sort of gets piggybacked by the previous question but what is film composing yeah. taught you about the world oh uh is teaching me a lot of things, uh, especially to to get to know the people, yes. because you know this is work. Uh, this is a teamwork, okay. Yep. Yeah. So it's about not only um, writing music, you know, or editing a video. It's about connect with other people. So yes. um, as I often say, uh, it's very important that you understand that uh, um, you have to accept that people don't always think uh, at the same way, okay? Absolutely, um, yeah. And that the whole important thing is to have a common goal, to do a good job. You could have different point of, points of view, okay, in, a, in, in around the crew, yep. but it's normal. You just it have is. to accept that. Um, it taught me that often the best people are also the the humblest ones, okay? Because they don't need to demonstrate anything. And this is something I strongly believe in. Um, and also it's teaching me to become a professional. And when I say the term professional, I'm not referring only to write a good piece of music. But yeah. For example, trying to put aside what may be my character limitations, okay? Mm. Yes. Okay and be more flexible. That's very mm. important. Very. 100%. 100%. And that's, that's, beautifully, that's beautifully put as well, the way you put all of that. And um, sorry, we just got some people talking outside. What are they doing? Mates. Oh, they're waiting for the next one. <laughs> sorry, we're like in the middle. So where we're actually filming is like in the middle of a restaurant. It's <laughs> so <laughs> weird. It's so weird. We have, so we have our local kind of bar slash restaurant i can and hear just nothing it's very clear the sound yeah yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, there you so go. <laughs> people are eating outside this is a random <laughs> restaurant and there's just a random podcast studio in the middle of the <laughs> restaurant I, guys i literally love your studio when i watched oh, for the first god. time I was, oh my god i want to how cool here. is it hey it's <laughs> so god. cool it's so cool but um, so cool. look man yeah Beautifully put that previous question. Definitely. And I think where the final question that we're going to oh. ask you oh. is we see a lot of posters on your wall there, which means <laughs> you've made quite a few film scores now. What one are you most proud of and why? And you don't have to say my film. <laughs> no, Josh. <laughs> you, know, you know very well my answer. You, yeah. you know my answer. Uh, okay, okay, first of all, um, yeah. probably the most important it was for me the first one just yes, because of it course. was the first okay? the very the first uh, the yep. Italian thriller just because it was the first uh, it taught me a lot about this work about how I can control the stress uh, yeah. I'm going to improve actually today but, yeah um, so that's very important yeah um, also are very important the three films that I did last year yeah. Um, just because it was very difficult to make one film after another, uh, mm. so I started on January and I finished to June. Uh, by the way, wow. guys, in Italy, to finish a movie, we have two or three weeks. Wow. Week. 
Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Far out. That's insane. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> That's insane. That is such yes. a big workload. Yes. <laughs> oh, of course, I am not alone. I'm. I am working a composer. With yeah, 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 yeah. Two. <laughs> So yeah. that, that's <laughs> I, we are I can't even five, I can't even six. fathom that because it took so long. Like it's such a long process. Even for two's a lesson, we took our time and we're very like chill with it. I can't imagine doing that in three no, weeks. No way, that's oh, wow. insane. Yeah, of course, that's important for me because I am I you know I improve myself a lot. So if mm. I have to do something in one day, I can do. So it's yeah. very important. 100%. But for me. Quality is another thing, okay. Um, yep. Of course, uh, so that's very important. Just be so these three fields because yep. uh, I have the possibility to organize very well, okay, yep. Yep. myself. Absolutely. But you know, um, if I if I had to choose the one for for which I I, I have I have more more pro is to the lesson really. Yeah, you know, I said. A lot of times to to Josh, you know that is the reality. Um, first of all, it's incredible because I immediately had a strong connection with Josh, even <laughs> even if I didn't know him well. Exactly, we used to read to each other mostly on chat, but it's yeah. incredible because I am very connected with yeah. the music, thanks yeah. to the music. Okay, yeah. Um, so it's really unusual thing to understand each mm. other in this way without making a call exactly and it works you know, a what, lot it does so and what it I've really said. it works a lot i really i worked better with josh who was on the <laughs> other side of the world <laughs> than with other directors who were in front of me yeah <laughs> really yeah, it just it just happens like that you know it's all about that you know that connection and you, sometimes you just click with people and I click with you as a person and I click with you creatively and I think that's so rare to find yes, that you can yes, connect totally with somebody. Rare. It's yeah, not it's the normal. It's so rare that you it's can do that. normality, yeah. No. Especially when we've never had a call before. Like I've gone through and me and Austin, you know, we went through this rough patch like recently before the podcast started that we've talked about where we were just lacking motivation, um, lacking inspiration. But I always knew and you know what connections, especially in this industry come and go. Yep. But I always knew that I always had you. Um, a text away just because I know you're always going to be there when it comes to, you know, helping inspire me, motivate me and be a part of my next film. Even if I have no idea who the rest of the crew is, I know you're going to be there. And I think that aspect um, just shows how connected we are and how we were and how rare it is and how special. And I hope that you can find your own connection like Absolutely. that as yeah, well, no, because it is so rare and I couldn't be more thankful to you. Yeah, uh, but but it's it's, it's real uh, and yeah. it's incredible. Um, yes, mm, uh, of course the, the the project. I really love the project. Okay, because to the lesson is very well done. Yeah. When I watched for the first time, oh my god, this is very good. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> also you. without Thank also without that. the music, it's yeah. perfect. I love Thank that. Thank you, man. Appreciate um, that. So um, it's incredible. Um, you know. I loved writing the soundtrack, telling everything from the point of view of a child. I really appreciate mm. that. Yep. Um, Cooper, <laughs> by the way. Cooper, you know? yes, um, exactly. Um, mm, yes, and the interesting thing is that at that moment, I remember that, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I had the, the degree in the piano for me. Yes, yep. yep. So it, it could be, it was it was be difficult, but I don't really feel the stress. Really, mm, yeah. was a magic I moment. I was completely in the flow. Yeah. Um. Yes, it's incredible. I'm. I'm really looking. I'm really looking forward to working again because I'm it's sure the best is yet to come. Josh. Oh, so, you oh, have no that. idea. I can't wait for this next project, and you know yes. the yes. people also, that are also there. There was. There was the COVID. Yes, yes. there was oh, exactly, yes, yes. and we still. Yeah, it's just been 
challenge after challenge, but we've all pulled through. And honestly, Federico, the one thing if I can look forward to from the upcoming film is the music. And I think, you know, as soon as I finish the script, I will yes. send the script and the Bible to you. And you can start, like you did with Two's a Lesson, getting ideas, even yeah, for the theme yeah, yeah. and stuff can't like wait, that. Yeah. And I can't wait because <laughs> I, to visualize and when I'm in pre-production, I listen to a lot. Like I was listening to the June soundtrack to get inspiration for when I was writing oh. my film. So like, I can't wait to hear what you write, for th just like a sample of a theme. So then that can improve my imagination when it comes to like yes, a shot yes. list yeah. and I storyboards. As well. Yeah, yes. even he can't <laughs> wait. It's going to be incredible. But um, yeah, Federico, look, I think that that that's the end of all the questions that we have for you today. And um, honestly, we really, really appreciate your time and thank you for coming on today, man. Couldn't be any more grateful, man. Especially granted what time it is over there. Yeah, insane. <laughs> I don't know how you, you're a, you, you're, you're a true nocturnal animal. <laughs> thanks a lot guys i'm very happy to be here uh yes it was fantastic experience and i Amazing. really hope to do another one uh, of course <laughs> because it's very incredible yeah. We yes, will. Yes. Well, i reckon we should get you back on the podcast in the process when you're writing my next film in yes. what do you reckon yes. Oh, of in course. person, yeah. Did you want to come swim over here with the sharks? <laughs> Take a shark yeah. and swim across yes, the oceans exactly. to here. Yes, <laughs> perfect. No, Federico, we'll definitely, and uh, although it'll be a bit of a process to organise, but you know, if our schedules line up and all that kind of stuff, we need to meet in person. Yeah, you know, wherever that may be. One hundred percent. We'll make it. Make it happen. We'll make it work. But yeah, in in other words, man, thank you again. We really oh, appreciate. Oh, thanks you to you guys. On. I really appreciate. I really appreciate. It's awesome my pleasure, song. really. Wow, what, that that was an interview. He's such a nice guy. That was insane. Yeah, no. I don't know how he's still awake at two a.m., but uh, good on him. No, hundred percent. That yes. was very eye-opening, and you know, I felt like we didn't really need to say much. No, definitely sat back, absorbed it all, and uh, I wow, hope you all sat back and absorbed it all, and as well. very informative. Now you guys know the wonderful world of uh, film, film composing. Yeah. There you go. Um, but anyways, that comes to the end of this episode. So- uh, Why do you tell these lovely people where they can find us? Well, and Federico. Yes. Well, you can find Federico. We will tag him in everything um, on our posts and stuff like that. You know what? Let me get his Instagram up right now. Underscore F-E-D-E-R-I-C-C-I-O. That is Federico, baby. Awesome. Talented, and you can man. find us- at the pre prod pod on Insta, TikTok, and the pre production meeting on YouTube. Oh, and Apple Podcasts. Definitely. As well. Leave us a nice review as well. Yeah, do it. If you love us, if you hate us, it helps. It helps. It helps. Perfect. Um, there you go. So, without any further ado, yeah. let's tie a little bow on this episode, baby. We'll see you next week. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.